Here we are again with another sponsored video brought to you by Floor & Decor, the low price leader in all things hard service flooring, laminate, tile, stone, you name it, they got it. What we're actually going to be working with today is going to be prefab vanities. A while back I did a LVP installation directly over tile, I'll put the link right up here. Uh, check it out, it came out amazing through our entire house. Uh, we love the color for our furniture, our decor, what we really wanted to go with. But when it came to this bathroom, it just does not match. The flooring doesn't match the granite or the cabinets. So we're gonna go ahead and head to Floor Decor right now and go ahead and pick out a new vanity. Here we are here at the Floor Decor Loading Center. We have gone ahead and went through the store, looked at all the options that they have to offer and found the one that we love. It's gonna match our floor perfectly. Right now what they're doing is they're actually picking our order. I got my car waiting here. They're gonna load it up here in just a minute. After that, we'll get our vanity home and we'll get this thing installed. Now that we picked up our vanity from Floor Decor, it's time to get this room ready for installation. The very first thing I'm gonna be working on is removing everything out of this room. I'm gonna empty out the cabinet here, get rid of the decorations, Remove the mirror. Um, luckily, it's not attached to the wall, so that's going to come out easy. After that, you want to make sure you turn off your water. When doing the demo work, you want to make sure that if you hit a pipe or anything, you're not going to have water spray all over the place. So it's an extra mess you don't want to have to clean up. After that, we'll go ahead and remove all of the piping, remove the countertop, and then from there, we'll be ready for the installation of our new vanity. Now that we've got everything removed off the counter and out of the cabinets, it's time to go ahead and turn off the water. Extremely simple. All you gotta do, turn these valves right here. There should be two of them, one for hot, one for cold. Just turn them to the left, that'll remove, turn off the water. One tip, make sure you do lay down a towel or something underneath the pipes before you start taking them out because there's still gonna be water in the pipes. So the next step is we're gonna go ahead and remove all of these. Now that all the plumbing's removed, the next step is we're gonna go ahead and remove the sink and the faucet. So let me go ahead and show you how I get that done. Now that everything's removed, it's time to go ahead and actually start getting rid of the countertop. Um, this is gonna be different for every installation because everybody has different stuff at their own homes. What I have here is this granite backsplash. Most likely it is glued and attached to the drywall, so as I remove it, it will rip chunks of the drywall out. Some of it I might be able to fix with spackle, some of it I might have to repair with additional drywall. I won't know until we actually get it done, but that's what we're gonna go ahead and remove right now. All right, so everything is ripped out. It's time to do a little bit of patchwork. Honestly, it didn't uh, tear up the drywall too bad when I pulled out the granite, so I'm really happy about that. I don't really have to uh, actually repair any uh, drywall. Just gonna use the patch right now, get it all patched up, and then we'll go from there.
One issue that I'm getting that you might as well, depending on the type of vanity you get, is that I have a one inch gap now from the tile to the subfloor. This is because of the fact that the vanity that was installed here before was installed directly on the subfloor, but the vanity that I'm installing is a four leg pedestal vanity. So it's gonna be sitting on top of the flooring. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna go outside, go cut a half inch thick piece of hardy backer. Hardy backer is a waterproof subfloor that you can lay here. It's gonna be the half inch difference that I need. Lay that down and then once I'm done laying that down, I'm gonna go ahead and replace um, the missing planks of LVP that I had installed before. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that done right now. Well, that step is done. Luckily, floor is looking great, as you see. It's all patched up. We're ready for the next step. So we're gonna go ahead and sand all the spackle down so that way it's nice and smooth. Spray our texture on the wall. And then from there, we'll go ahead and paint. Once the paint's all done, then it's time to install the vanity. Now, when it comes to sanding for my project, since I'm gonna be using um, a texture spray, I just need to get a rough sand on it. That way it gets out any of the bumps and unevenness. So I'm just gonna knock that out real quick. Once I cleaned up all the dust from all the sanding, what I'm gonna be using next right here is ceiling texture. What this is gonna do, it's gonna match the texture that I already have on this wall so that way you can have just a seamless feel. Once that dries, then we'll be ready to paint. Let's go ahead and get caught up with where we're at right now, what we've accomplished, First off, we ripped out the old vanity, we took out the granite, took out the cabinets. From there, we repaired all of the drywall, sprayed it with the texture spray so that way it matched the rest of the drywall. Also replaced the flooring at the bottom, replaced the baseboards. And lastly, I just finished painting this entire room so we get a nice fresh coat of paint. Now comes the fun part. It's time to install the new vanity. I have the vanity in here, and the first thing we're gonna be doing is we're gonna start with some plumbing. Now this particular vanity does not come with the faucet and drain. So I went to my local hardware store, picked one up, uh, went with the chrome finish obviously to match the poles that I have that comes with this vanity. So I'm gonna hook up the top part first and then I'm gonna head underneath and hook up all the piping under there. If you need instructions, most of them do come with instructions. It makes it a lot easier if you don't know what you're doing. So this next part, I'm gonna do the best I can to have you follow along. The only problem is with plumbing, it's in a very tight space. So recording and being able to explain what I'm doing, it can get a little difficult. So please bear with me. I'm gonna do the best I can. Um, but honestly, if you follow along with the instructions, you should be able to install this without a problem. But the very first thing we're gonna be installing, is gonna be the handles. So they come with this attached. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna remove this because this is gonna go under the sink. <clears throat> Bring it all the way down. So this is the top part, obviously. So you place that in the hole. And then this will be for underneath. Repeat the other side. And then your main faucet, you're gonna set that in the middle. You're gonna have these pieces here. These are gonna go underneath for the main faucet, the middle faucet. Be securing it with this right here. So let's head underneath.
We have now come to our final step, and it's an extremely simple step. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing the backslash that came with this vanity. All you need to do is you're going to flip it on its front, you're going to take an all-purpose construction adhesive, and in an S shape down the middle of the back, a very thin bead of the adhesive. From there, you pick up your backslash, you center it in the middle of your vanity, and you let it sit. From there, it's going to dry by itself. This has a very strong hold, so you don't need to worry about bracing it. And then once that's dry, your vanity is installed. But make sure to stay tuned because we do have our final reveal coming. I have a couple things still to install. I want to make sure that you guys check out our completed project.